Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Reef Drama. Today we're going to do a quick update with regards to the silica issue I'm having in the tank uh, because of the new sand. So we are still uh, experiencing the diatoms, um, but today we're going to be doing upside down uh, an ICP test from Triton Lab. Now I've already done one of these videos uh, full length that shows you basically step by step of uh, how you complete your ICP test all the way through to posting it off, to receiving the results on the computer and, uh, and having a look through that also includes what exactly is an ICP test. So if you're interested in watching that, I will stick the link at the end in the outro uh, and you'll be able to click on the video there as it pops up on the screen. Um, but for today, we're gonna break this open. We're gonna get a couple of samples out of the tank and then we're gonna get them posted off and then hopefully we're going to see uh, exactly then what our silicate level is. And uh, well, they'll also give us recommendations in there as well. So we can have a little read of what they say uh, with regards to that. So let me break this open. Let's get a couple of samples done and get them posted off. Right then, so let's get this um, opened up. Uh, oh, on the back here, you can see... We've got some uh, information there and also all the parameters that will be tested. So if you need to, you can pause the video and have a little look through those. But in the box, what we have is the little packet or the envelope that we will be sending um, the samples off. And we've got two uh, vials that we basically fill up uh, and... Uh, and we'll pop them into the envelope. There should also be somewhere uh, some stickers which will give us what we need to actually put onto, uh, onto here. So you peel them off and you'll stick them basically onto that. And uh, there should be some instructions somewhere, probably still in the box. And, and this will basically just take you through. Oh, that's the address that we stick on the envelope. Uh, here we go. Here's the instructions. Um, that we will then basically just follow if you haven't registered blah 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 as I say I've done a full video on all of this and um, and we're gonna basically get on with this now and get these tests done so take off the caps and then what we're gonna do is just lift up my lid a little bit move it over and then what it says to do is we just fill it up kind of empty it out like three times before you you take the actual sample so that's one and i'm just going to do the other one obviously off camera because i haven't got any more hands and i need to grab that um lid there to put on this on this vial there we go done and without getting water all over the floor so that's our first one i'll do the second one and uh, and then i'm gonna run it up to the post office and get it all posted off right then guys well it's been a couple of days uh, since i sent off the icp test had the notification back to say that they'd received it and then i think two days later uh, i got the notification to say that it was ready to be viewed uh, on their uh, sort of online system um, so as you can see we still have, well, the diatoms, or whatever the hell it is. I really don't know anymore. Um, and I'll go into the ICP test results in a moment. Um, but I have also in the tank, if you can see there, uh, bubble algae. So among other things. So we're not doing too well at the moment with this tank, to be fair. What with the diatoms? Holy reflection, jeez. Uh, so what with the diatoms? Um, the bubble algae, uh, also with aptasia, it's just, it's just a nightmare at the moment. So what I've also got, which I'm uh, going to start dosing, is uh, some vibrant. I'm going to put the vibrant in and hopefully that will um, have a crack at the, the bubble algae. Um, as you can see there, there's not too much on that one. Um, there's bits and pieces on rocks around. That That's quite a bad rock over there. All the fish get out of the way. Um, so yeah, so there is a bit of a bubble algae issue in there. Now I'm going to try and manually uh, siphon some out um, next time I do water change. 
So that will hopefully get rid of some, but as I say, we are dosing Vibrant. Now, what I've also done is I've removed the Cheeto from the sump. Um, so I'll overlay a couple of photos of that um, on the video now. And you can see that it's just in the garage in a little um, glass tank. Uh, it's got a heater and it's got an air bubbler. And then every now and again, I'll go out there and just top up the uh, RO water into it. Um, just to obviously keep the salinity sort of roughly right. When I do a water change in the main tank, I will take out um, so much water from that little tank and I'll replace it with the with the water from the tank as part of the water change um, because obviously there's nothing in there um, creating sort of nitrates or anything so um, you know I want to keep putting the nitrates in so that the Cheeto doesn't kind of die off but uh, yeah Vibrant will apparently kill off Cheeto so don't leave Cheeto in your system if you're dosing Vibrant um, and then you can see at night time uh, you, I've got the light on it uh, so that's on for 12 hours I think it is um, overnight. Um, so that's where we are at the moment so what I'm going to do now oh just uh, show you the new fishies a bit of a better because I've got a nice clean glass now so there's the new Tang Gang still all circling around together. The fox kind of joins in as well sometimes, which is nice. But we've got the purple tang right there, dead center, followed by the cell fin. And then we've also got the orange shoulder. So beautiful tangs. Really, really pleased with them. Settled in so well. Everybody else is doing really well. Clowns, obviously, as usual. We've got the lemon wrasse or the yellow wrasse, I should say. Um, Piney, who's following the camera around, so here we go then, Piney, this is your moment. Yeah, there we are, oh, and he turns away. Right, fine, terrific. Uh, Fox over the back, beautiful as well, and so I don't know, somewhere in there, there is a Coral Beauty, there she is over here, she's still doing okay, just disappeared into the rock, and there is a Bengai Cardinal, um, that single one that was left after uh <clears throat> yeah he ate his friend unfortunately um so let's get into the icp results right so we've logged into the triton lab results page uh, as you can see chosen here my habitats of soft coal dominance we've got bit of nuisance algae I've selected there uh, and then we'll just sort of scroll down so first off straight away here we've got uh, a bit high on the old aluminium um, so it should be between 0 and 60 we're hitting 97 so we need to look into that find out what's going on there otherwise the rest of the heavy uh, unwanted metals are all in the green zone uh, as you can see scrolling down we've got a little bit of the uh, Lanthanum, if that's how you pronounce it. So they ideally it wants to be zero, and we're at two point zero, so a little bit high there. Uh, coming down, all oh, that's okay. Then we get into macro elements. Again, mostly in the green, just outside. We're a bit low on calcium, but I probably will have to start dosing calcium. I don't normally dose calcium because the water change uh, usually keeps up with that, but. Um, now obviously it looks like we're going to have to start um, potassium, bromide, boron, all okay, strontium, sulfur. Uh, so that's all not too bad. Um, these ones are all virtually dead in the green, pretty much where we want them anyway. So that's cool. And then we come down, we got uh, zinc's fine. Magne manganese is um, outside of the set point. So zero to three is what it should be. And we're at six. Um, so that could do with coming down slightly. Uh, iodine is uh, is very low. I don't dose iodine. Uh, we're okay there. Little bit, little bit of iron look showing up. So what I'm going to have to do um, is uh, check check my pumps, uh, check the wave makers, all those sort of things. Just make sure nothing's sort of starting to rust. Um, those are okay here we go silicon so this is the main one that we've sort of been waiting for 
So our analysis has come in at 208.00 and the set point should be between 0 to 200. So in fact, it's not quite as bad as what I thought it was going to be. I thought we was going to be up here somewhere in the yellow, maybe even touching the red. Um, but we're not far outside of the set point. Uh, if I remember previously, I think my silicon in my old tank uh, was around about 115. So, I mean, yes, I suppose it does have some to come down, doesn't it, from 208 to 115. But essentially, we're still in the green. So I don't really know why we're getting all this uh, all this diatoms if it's not necessarily the, uh, the silicon. Um, phosphorus, phosphate, uh, that's okay. Salinity uh, is just slightly, just slightly off. Uh, they say 35, it's 32.7. So, um, so that's the ICP test. So I don't know what you guys think of that. Um, if you see anything there um, that I should be a bit more worried about, then you know, let me know. Um, stick a comment down in the comment section below. But uh, by the looks of it, we need to increase the calcium a bit still try and get the silicate down and uh, have a look around at the uh, aluminium and the iron um, sort of results certainly the aluminium uh, if we just have a quick look at um, help uh, it says we detected elements in your water it can be harmful for your tank so they recommend doing six 15 percent water changes spread over six weeks it says magnesium levels are slightly low calcium levels are slightly low and aluminium has been found um, it does also give you reasons as to why, and it's say an aluminium based phosphate remover. So I will have to uh, double check uh, what I've been using um, for the phosphate remover. Obviously, normally I use Roafos, and I've just gone over to Fozzy X, I think it's called. So I need to double check all of that. Um, zeolite uh, and metals in the water. So, yeah, so there you go. Metals in the water, you know, could be. Maybe something starting to rust on one of the the pumps or the the um, or the wave makers or something. So I shall pull those out and I'll give them all a good check over. So again, as I say, what do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments below. A little bit to work on there, um, but I suppose in the grand scheme of things, not too bad. I just wish the uh, these diatoms would uh, do one. Right then guys, so we've seen the ICP results, we can still see what the sand here in this tank is looking like. It is water change day today, so I'll be doing the usual of uh, puffing, uh, puffing off the rocks, getting any sort of debris, detritus off of those and uh, doing the same with the turkey baster again with the sand um, whilst the water is draining out. But uh, looking at that rock over there, if I zoom in, the bubble algae has virtually all disappeared. So that's good. On the wave maker, again, that's pretty much all gone off of that one. Over on the other side, there is still a little bit of bubble algae. Uh, you can just pick out. Flame and Aptasia as well, look. But... Um, deal with the bubble algae first <laughs> and then the aptasia so yeah the vibrant uh, seems to be doing a good job all the corals are still fine all the fish are all still fine as you can see uh, down in the sump area still no cheeto if i can get the camera in so you can see in that section there could do with a bit of a clean out but there is no uh, cheeto in there that's still out in the garage Looks like I need to clean my skimmer cup and replace my filter floss on my DIY spillway. Um, but yeah, so a little bit of maintenance to do today. But uh, this is where we're at. So I don't know. I'm hoping that this will eventually clear up. But uh, I guess time will tell. But anyway, let's just put a little bit of, little bit of food in. Just so as we can get a little bit of fish eating activity just to finish off but as I say if you got any comments any advice uh, anything to do with the ICP test results um, anything else that you feel that uh, that I could do or should be doing with regards to this sand uh, I really would like to know as I say, Aptasia at the moment, that's the last of my worries. I'm going to 
try and deal with the sand first, deal with the bubble algae, uh, and then start attacking the Aptasia. But uh, as obviously most of you will know, with him, there is absolutely no way I can have any sort of cleanup crew in this tank. He will just eat them all. So unfortunately, that is not going to happen. But uh, yeah, hopefully just over time. We're probably about three weeks down the line now of adding in Vibrant, doing it once a week and doing 12 mil uh, per dose every Monday I'm doing that. So Saturday today. So in a couple of days I'll be doing another dose and then we'll be into our fourth week then. Um, but yeah, seems to be doing an okay job so far. Well then guys, that's it. Thanks very much for watching and uh, hopefully I will see you on the next video. Bye bye. Is it go?